Happy Tuesday. Uh, it's uh, 10 or 11 minutes after 8 Eastern on June 27th today, and we finally reached 44. We're pulling back a little bit uh, as I say this at the moment, uh, but we did crack through 44. We, we touched 44.02, um, and then of course uh, people are taking profits and etc. etc. as is to be expected. Hopefully we hold these levels uh, going into the North American Open in, in about uh, what an hour and uh, 50 minutes from now. Um, I'm, as you guys know, I'm a bull and I expect us to go up. Um, I'm counting on it in order to make money. Um, that being said, I will be going short today. Um, if we hold anywhere close to where we are right now, kind of 44-ish, um, for me this feels like a short opportunity. Uh, you know, we were as low as uh, near 42 last week, and we've been rallying for five days now. Um, unfortunately, we've been rallying excruciatingly slowly um, to where we are now at 44. So it's been difficult to profit from that with any kind of level of certainty. Uh, I hope you guys have done better than I have. I've kind of been sitting on the sidelines waiting for my targets, as you know. But, uh, you know, we are at my target. I've been saying 44 the whole time, that I'm bearish at 44, and we're there now. So basically anywhere above 43.80, I'm, I'm very tempted to get in. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see where we actually open. Uh, there's still time, uh, quite a lot of time, and a lot can happen between now and then. So hopefully we don't pull back and, and I lose my opportunity. But if that's the case, then I'll probably just wait until uh, Europe and hope that uh, Europe's close drives it back up towards the 44s. Um, my closest long position is at 44.34, so it's still in the red and I don't think we're going to get that high. Um, so essentially my shorting is hedging that position, um, but because I, basically I don't want to sell it at a loss, that's kind of part of my thing. Um, patience over losses so buying the uh, the short here uh, and I trade the ETFs the Canadian ETFs um, so it would be the HOD uh, ticker symbol um, or it would be for the Americans it would be the uh, DWTI um, ETF which would result in the same thing so basically you've got two ETFs a bull and a bear um, that you can play depending on which direction you think oil is going to move um, and I, although I am a long-term bull at these levels, short-term, I think we pull back. Um, you know, at uh, 4.30 today, we've got uh, news, and tomorrow at 10.30 a.m., we've got news, inventory, crude oil inventory news. So I think that people are going to be hedging their positions going into that news. Uh, kind of betting on which direction we're actually going to take on on the revealing of that news um, And we're the highest we've been Since last week's news, so I think we pull back to somewhere in between I would say kind of the 43 area is probably where we'll end up uh, prior to news uh, as people kind of bet whether or not we're going to break through 44 um, on a more permanent basis or whether we're going to go below 42 uh, I don't think it's the last time we've seen 42. So even if I am wrong and we just keep going up from here and uh, I get stuck holding the short at 44, uh, so be it. Uh, I think we'll see these levels again you know, in the coming weeks and months, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, because I am a bull and some of my bulls, uh, my bull positions are kind of way, way up there in the 50s. So it'll, it'll be a, a painful hold for me. Um, and I will be looking to get out of those positions probably at the high 40s, which I also expect us to see in the coming months. But uh, coming back to today, uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've been saying 44 is my uh, kind of bear target. So I'm going to stick to my numbers and hope that we kind of hold these levels uh, and give me the opportunity to actually execute an order here. Uh, I, if I do wait, I'm not going to wait long. I would say probably half hour to an hour after open, so 10.30ish is probably the longest I would wait. I wouldn't wait today to go short um, until Europe because I think Europe pulls back 
um, well before its closing at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so that's my plan, that's my game plan for today, uh, June 27th. Uh, the time now is uh, just about quarter after eight. So if you guys are, I mean really at 44, you can go either way and still make money, I think, over the coming weeks. So it doesn't matter whether you're bull or bear, kind of place your bets and just be patient with it because I think this is a profitable level. We're well above the lows of 42. I mean, there's $2 difference there. Um, and of course, there's lots and lots of upside. So just depending on what your time frame is, I think this is a, it's a money maker regardless of what side of the field you're playing on. Um, so good luck to all. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned uh, to the trades. Uh, use the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca uh, where you can find more details about my portfolio and trade results. Uh, and uh, see you guys at the end of the trading day, 4 o'clock-ish Eastern Time. Cheers.